Hello, this is Octavio Science, Public Information Officer for the Texas Department of Transportation, and this is a technical overview for FM 494 Sherry Road Project. Let's begin first with the project purpose and need. Traffic conditions indicate that FM 494, a two-lane facility within the project limits, needs additional travel lanes. The proposed project would improve safety, mobility, and provide improvement to traffic operations. FM 494 has been expanded recently from Interstate 2 to FM 1924. The proposed project would continue the expansion of the existing corridor and improve progression and conditions, as well as incorporating pedestrian accommodations. TxDOT, in cooperation with Hidalgo County Precinct 3 and the cities of Palmhurst, McAllen, and Alton, has been working on this project. The map on the screen shows the general area for this project. Phase 1 of the FM494 project begins at SH107, runs south to FM676, a distance of approximately 2.3 miles. Phase 2 begins at FM676 and runs south to FM1924, a distance of approximately 2 miles. The proposed FM494 project consists of constructing a 5-lane curb and gutter roadway, including a continuous left-turn lane, shoulders, sidewalk, an underground storm drain system and drainage outfalls. The road would require 23.9 acres of additional right-of-way. The total construction cost of the project is estimated to be approximately $10 million for Phase 1 and $8 million for Phase 2 with the Valo County Precinct 3 and the cities of Palmhurst, McAllen, and Alton participating with the cost of the schematic and environmental documentation for Phases 1 and 2 and right-of-way acquisition services for Phase 1. Now this is what FM494 or Sherry Road looks like if you're looking at it through your front windshield. From SH107 to FM676, FM494 is a rural 24-foot wide roadway consisting of two 12-foot wide travel lanes within a typical 80-foot wide right-of-way and from FM676 to FM1924, it is a rural 40-foot wide roadway consisting of two 12-foot wide travel lanes and 8-foot wide shoulders within the existing 60 to 80-foot wide right-of-way. Drainage is uh, currently handled with roadside ditches. And here is the proposed FM494. It will be widened and reconstructed to an 84-foot wide curb and gutter roadway consisting of four 12-foot wide travel lanes, a 16-foot wide continuous left turn lane, 10-foot wide shoulders, and a 6-foot sidewalk where needed within the proposed 120-foot wide right-of-way. Drainage would be provided by an underground storm drain system and outfall into existing drainage ditches. We should add that five alternatives were considered for FM494, including the no-build alternative. Now, many factors were considered, including uh, potential impacts to businesses, residents, as well as the cost and feasibility of building the proposed alternative. Now, the no-build alternative must be considered during the environmental study. This alternative will be the roadway as it is, but it would not be the purpose and the need of the project. Therefore, it is not being recommended. The recommended alternative was chosen for a variety of reasons. Alternative E would require 23.9 acres of additional right-of-way, which consists of a total of 108 parcels. It has no impact to an existing cemetery. It would require the least number of potential residential relocations and would require no business relocations. We are anticipating to receive environmental clearance by mid-2016. For Phase 1 from SH107 to FM676, once the environmental clearance is granted, right-of-way staff would acquire the right-of-way necessary by winter of 2017. Now, during this time, the final design and construction plans will be completed. Construction is currently scheduled for 2022. Now, that may seem like a long time from now, but we must first have environmental approval before any project can be constructed. Construction could start in early 2018 if the funding becomes available and the Hidalgo County Metropolitan Planning Organization is able to accelerate it. Construction could take approximately 24 months. 
Phase 2 from FM676 to FM 1924 is currently not funded for right of way and construction. But since Phase 1 is currently under study, we're also completing the study for Phase 2 in anticipation of future construction funding. Phase 2 would need to receive funding from the MPO in order to proceed with the design, right of way acquisition, and eventually construction. It is important for you to know that right of way will not be acquired for the area along Phase 2 at this time. Right of way acquisition will be done in accordance with Titles 2 and 3 of the Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970. In case anyone has specific questions, you're welcome to speak with a right of way expert at 702-6100. We want to receive your comments on this project and there are several ways that you can do this. You can mail them or drop them off at the address on your screen. Also, you can fax them at 956-702-6110 or email them to robin.gelston at txdot.gov. Remember that the comment period deadline is December 1st, 2014.